up story time with lexi what's up everybody okay all right so here's the thing this is called story time with lexi the premise behind this is i would be at the gym on the stairmaster and then i would get on periscope and i would talk to my periscope friends and somehow i would morph into telling a true story about my life so People have been asking me, Lexi, why don't you tell stories of your life? They are very entertaining. Uh, I don't think so, but here goes. All of these stories are true. <laughs> they are stories of my life. This stuff has actually happened. And the reason why I didn't do it before on YouTube is because these stories are real and they're real people and people are gonna be probably pissed off um but uh i'm not gonna name any names but they know who they are so they're probably gonna go in the comments section and just have that in. anyway i don't care we're moving forward so all right now it's time for story time with lexi wait a minute who are you okay anywho um okay which story do i start with hmm. once upon a time in the land of detroit uh, my beloved pastor who has gone on to be with the Lord, Pastor Reginald Morris Lane, um, had a church named Dunamis Outreach Ministries. It's still going strong today. What's up, all my Dunamis Outreach Ministries people? Um, I was the worship leader over there for 20 something years, about 20, 21 years. Oh my God. And so New Year's Eve, as you know, is one of the biggest days for artists yep. right so i got booked and i'm out of town i'm out of state doing a gig and uh so i had to get some people in place for to take my place so they got this one guy to come in and do the service okay and so he's coming in he's doing the service i'm like great i'm going out of town home is taken care of home church is taken care of okay we're good i get a call uh -uh. I'm out of state. I get a call that says, Lex, we don't have anybody. Can you get somebody? I said, whoa, 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 what do you mean you don't have anybody? So-and-so was booked. What do you mean? What are you talking about? So my church is all up in arms and my pastor's like, you know what? Jesus is the focus. If we don't have anybody, all artists were booked. It's New Year's Eve. It's Easter and New Year's Eve are the biggest days for artists. So everybody was booked. I couldn't get anybody. I am furious. I am pissed. But I'm like, why did this person back out at the last minute comes back this person was sick i was like well this person can't do anything about it ah one of the elders of the church the administrator said hey lex yeah that person got sick had a stomach flu couldn't make it called at the last minute and said i just can't get out of bed okay i come back home new year's eve is over we're into the new year found out that next week because you know things get around found out the next week that this same person that had the stomach flu mm -hmm. that couldn't get out of bed mm -hmm. was seen at another church on New Year's Eve. You, you liar! Worshiping, healed by the blood of the lamb. Healed and up worshiping, so that person lied. Ain't nobody got time for that. That person is also a pastor. Bruh. Lied to my pastor, lied to our church on the biggest night ever and went for more money somewhere else instead of just saying hey could you guys give me a little bit more money that it just went took another gig lied and said they were sick now i'm pissed because i know this person and my pastor is like my father and i'm the worship leader i'm responsible so i am pissed so i found out about it a couple of months go by and come to find out that this very person that stood my church up on new year's eve had no place to have a concert and wanted to have their concert at my church. What? Well, of course, my pastor, being the man of God that he is, said, oh, by God, we by God, sure. Have the concert there. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. No! I found out about it. The day of that person's concert, I called that person and said, hey, man, I am just so sorry, but the church has flooded. What? Meanwhile, I'm walking my dog. True story. <laughs> True story. May God strike me down right now. True story. I'm literally outside walking my dog, and I said, man, the church flooded. Dog, the church is flooded. I, I, 
we, we, we have insurance adjusters here. We have a, a, a cleaning department here. We're, we're, it's Saturday night. It's Saturday afternoon. And I said, we're just hoping to have service on Sunday. I, they were like, oh, my God, I'm supposed to be there. I have a concert later on. Man, I don't know what to tell you, but unless you want to get electrocuted, I'm literally standing in an inch of water for safety reasons. For safety reasons, you cannot be here. You cannot have your concert here. You have to reroute your concert. And he's like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I got to find a new place. I said, call everybody. And he was like, can you help me find a church? Sure I can. No. And this is what I did. Sure I can. I can help you find a church. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Okay. I'll be right there. That's the insurance adjuster. They want me to, they, they want, they want to come in. And, and so we got, everybody's here and we got to figure this out. I am so sorry about the mix up. Please forgive us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Loud noises! It's, it's more than an inch of water? Nope. Oh, my God. You said we got to get out of here. Nope. We got to get out of here. I'm sorry. I would talk longer. Listen, if I find some churches, I'm going to call around for you. If I find some churches, I'm going to let you know. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. okay bye. <laughs> that, I said, go on Facebook right now. Go on Facebook right now and announce that your concert is off. You got to announce to everybody that this concert is off. Announce to everybody. They said, okay. Went on Facebook. Called everybody. And they called the concert off. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I'm outside walking my dog. It's the greatest moment of my life. Yeah. I love it. Because what you're not going to do is call us at the last minute. I'm going to call you at the last minute. That's what we're going to do. Okay? So, so, so that goes on. So I'm walking my dog. I go on with my day. I'm having a great weekend. I'm having a great day because that worked out perfectly. Uh, hours later, I get a call <gasps> from the church administrator and the church administrator is laughing. I say, hello, <laughs> Lexi. I said, yeah, Lexi, what did you do? Huh? What do you mean? I just, this is a church administrator. I just got a call from an elder of the church that said that concert has been canceled i said yeah well oh did they was it what happened they said lexi lexi this elder who called me there's a church administrator this elder that called me is best friends with the person that was having the concert i said yeah i know the person that was having the concert called that elder and was like oh my god the church is flooded that elder called pastor lane and said pastor lane the church is flooded pastor lane said oh my god Got out of his, whatever he was doing that day. Pastor went to the church and said, no, it's not flooded. Called that elder back. No, it's not flooded. That elder called his friend back who was having a concert and said, the concert's not flooded. They said that my pastor went, this must be Lexi. <laughs> so the church administrator called me and said, is Pastor Lane's deduction true? Huh? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And they laughed and laughed and laughed. Do you not know that my pastor never asked me? Never. I saw him the next day. He never mentioned it. He just came up to me and hugged me. Needless to say, the concert did go on, but it went on very scarcely. Weren't a lot of people there because it was off and then it was on. Then it was off and then it was on. Catch me outside. How about that? Do Christians lie? Yep. Are Christians Patty? Yep. Here's my thing. I'm the kind of friend that you need. Mm -hmm. I lied. I did. But what you're not going to do is stand my pastor up and stand my church up and lie. You can lie. Nigga, I can lie too. Uh. Now, how about your little itty bitty concert with about 20 people there? How'd that go for you? Was that good? Oh, okay. Let's get it then. He needs some milk. Moral of the story is, don't play with me. <coughs> don't play with me. I can be your best friend and I can be the pettiest person in the universe. Is it right? Is it Christian? Nope. But does it feel good? Amazing. Oh, it feels so good. Well, that was a true story. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. We'll be back with more true stories. Because I got a million of them. All true. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>